Alright guys, John here from Team Blind MST with uh, Dan with his Blackwing deck profile update. This is what, the second locals in a row you've talked with him now? Three. Three? Three in a row? Three yeah, that's what you know, he's the fat king of locals, so he's got he's got to win somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. Alright, so, run one Sirocco. Uh, like him at one, too much at two. When you draw two, it's awful. Three Shira. He's the boss of the deck. He specials anything when it's he destroys someone by battle. So you can make Leo with a combo I'll show you, or you can make Black Rose or whatever you need to do to clear the board. Three Bora. He specials himself if you control another Black Wing. He pierces. He's just another four that's good. One Zephyros. You can bounce a face-up card to special himself once a duel, so you can reuse your Fiendish Chains, or you can Blizzard for a Shura, bounce the Shura, and then special it back in attack. Three Kalutes. It's a hand trap. I love hand traps. Are two common? Two are common. You bad. Got it. One Gale. Real quick, um, what do you think about what do you think about Kalut versus like Crane? Which Crane's one? better. Is it okay? You can use multiple Kalutes, but you have to use two to beat one. But can't you drop Kalut on a game? On a direct attack, yes. It's situational. So it's more versatile. It's more. One Blizzard. A lot of people play two. Um, I don't really see the need to run two because I only play two, two, uh, two six synchros and one five, so it's hard to be able to use two. Did you drop Blizzard down to one when? Uh... With Squall, when Squall, Squall came out. If Squall wasn't a thing, would you run two Blizzard? Yes, okay. but I run Squall, so. Right. Uh, I run one Steam. Ugh, fine. Is this new? It's new. I wasn't running it. People asked me why I wasn't running it. I said it was bad, but I was wrong. This card's amazing. It's a three-star tuner that you can be searched through summoning your little guys like Blizzard and Gale. And he can use to be make Black Rose easier. He also has a combo with Shura that I'm going to show you to make Leo. I play one Kochi. If I took anything out, it'd be this. It's just, today I opened Kochi and uh, Bora <laughs> so many times, so I would s normal, normal, special, and then make Beals, and that w that won me the game by itself. So. Sounds pretty gross. I don't know why you would take that out. The one Squall, um, he's really good. You can spe He's another Inherent Summon. He's a level one tuner. He makes Armades, which is really good, especially with Shadal's coming out. You said you only r run one... Level one, five, so you only run one Armades? One Armades. There's no room. If I found any more room, I'd probably run two Armades over anything. But Wait, why is he going to be good when Shadal's come out? Because he attacks and their effects don't activate. No, oh, I thought you were talking about Squall. Like, no, it's just not And good. plus, he, he can flip anything and attack. So if I don't know if it's a hand or not, I can flip it up. And then if it's some bullshit, I can attack with Shira or another monster. I play the one dad wasn't playing dad because there wasn't a lot of grave manipulation, but now that I run blizzard, I can kind of manipulate the grave that way. I run steam, he can manipulate the grave, Zephyros, and I play soul charge. So he's actually he actually won me a lot of games today, so I'm going to keep him. And I mean two maxi this format, and especially next upcoming format. Um, Why the upcoming format? Stella Knights are, are going to be a thing, and the Zing Yangs or whatever people call them, the Cosmic Dragons. Uh, in this deck, I found that it's best to go second, so yeah. maining Max C just helps with that. So if I open Max C and I'm going second and they do special, so it's just more pluses. And that's it for the monsters. I believe it's 19. Three Whirlwind. It's, it's the searcher of the deck. One Soul Charge helps with Dad and just... If I make Leo or Armades, I can bring those back as well. The one ofs I play play Dark Hole, Book of Moon, Mind Control, and the Lure. Mind Control because I have a lot of synchros, so I can take their monster and synchro with it. Do you ever sync into something unnecessarily just to get rid of their monster for free? What do you what what is unnecessarily? Like just sink like sink a black rose, but not use its effect just so that you got rid of their monster. Um, usually I, I if I do most of the time when I do mind control it, I'll normal summon Gale or Steam mind control their monster and make black rose and blow up three or four of their back row That's and then good. I mean, it's really good. Why do you not like a lure? Yeah, I've heard you missing a lure in that deck for some reason. The only monster I ever really want to get rid of is Kochi. And if I open Kochi, he's actually not bad, so... So Kochi and Allure, both at one, are good to open with together? Um, 
depend if I draw if I draw the Boro, then no. Then, <laughs> then I have to make a hard decision. Sometimes Squall gets a Laird too. I play three Icarus. It's the best two for two in the game. And it just most of the time I don't even hit monsters with this. I just blow up back row because I have a whirlwind in hand and a Shura, so I just want to make sure my summon goes off next turn, and then I can make Leo. Things really easy to make your opponent neg one too. Yeah. I mean two Delta Crow. Only reason this deck's good. Um, a lot of people don't even play this. They play like MSTs, which Stupid is fine. People. But I've. I was I, at my locals. I played Evil Swarms. I went first. I set two, and he set five and passed. I dealt a Crota. His whole back row, he scooped. <laughs> that was the thirty-second so, match of the day. This card does a lot of work. It at, at worst, it's usually a plus one, and sometimes it turns into a plus four. I mean, what? So you don't miss MST at all? No. All right, that's fair. I played three Fiendish Chains. I was playing Breakthrough, I was trying it out, mainly for Hat, but I wasn't playing enough Hat to make it relevant. Plus, Fiendish Chain stops the mobile attack from even attacking. Why Breakthrough against Hat? Because you can use it twice. But wouldn't Fiendish Chain be better to stop them from looping the hands? Um, I played because Bluegins that's during that time, I like, oh, all right, so I never really cared about the hands, but now that Turtle got an errata, so Fire <laughs> Hand's now a problem. And <laughs> hands are a problem for this deck, kind of, so three Fiendish Chains. Plus, you can reuse Fiendish Chains in this deck with Zephyros. I mean, two vanities uh, hurts mermails, it hurts, <laughs> hurts shadows, it hurts everything. Like it hurts even the game of you, like, Key beetle vanities and back row is usually a win. So I like this over Blackhorn because, like Brian said, best. Um, he prefer if you stop the play before you even let them even go into the extra deck. Plus shadows, you can't Blackhorn the fusion to summon Midrash or Neff or whatever, so this card's just better. Oh my god, I'm honored. I just got a name drop from the Fat King of Locals. Uh, the two one ofs I play, play Bottomless and uh, Solemn. I don't play Torrential because I want my monsters to stay on board. No Compulse? Uh, no Compulse either because just I didn't really have enough room. Are you going to change that when Midrash is a thing? Because I feel like you're going to... Uh, we'll see. As of right now, no. Right. And I play one Wiretap. Um, like John just said before we started the video, he asked if we played this card at 2, 3, told him 1, and he said if this card was limited to 1, people would play it at 1, so I like it at 1. Stop. It'd be a, sta <laughs> it'd be a staple if it was at 1. Everyone would run 1 on I agree. Uh, extra deck. I play 1 Key Beetle for the Vanity Locks. Best Weather, because... Destroys the hands, cosmic dragons, uh, Medalce is a lot of things. Sylvans. Anything really? Anything. It's really. Mermaids. Uh, I play this. It's a, it's a Veiler on my turn until the end of your turn, and it gains attack. So like. <laughs> was the strongest it, you've ever had that thing? I think like 50, 55. Yeah. Or something. I, I played Nobles. When I used to play Harpies, I had that thing up in the game. <laughs> some like you even though you don't play Nobles, you always want to have something even in your extra deck that could beat Nobles, and then this just. This just takes care of it. And it can be Icarus, so it's like, at worst, you can just Icarus it. Oh, real quick, what do you think of that new one? Uh, Castell, the avian sky blaster, musketeer thing. He's that rank four wing beast. The Book of Moon? You gonna run that? Book of Moon slash you Um, I mean, I don't have room in the extra deck right now, but I mean, He's an Icarus that's a really good card. People are also, so, a lot of people are saying to run him over Silent Eyes. I might run him over this Zero Beast, because I'd never make this thing. Or even the cowboy. I mean, I play one cowboy, but it's hard to OTK with black wings without cowboy. So, I play the one cowboy. It would take a lot. To even get for Ophion. Cowboy, because it's just like you said, you can attack over Ophion. One honor arc and one extinction knight. I actually haven't made this card in months. Like I used to make this card every day in Bluegins, but in black wings, I just never seem to make this. Like ever. Take that out. Like I'd actually consider taking this out. That's how much I don't make it. You do that. Plus, I usually have more advantage than the other person with Whirlwind. The Synchros I play, I play 1-5 as Armades. If I played any more, I'd probably play a second Armades. I play two sixes. I play the Blackwing 6 that pierces. And I play Goyo. Goyo hasn't been super relevant yet. He's just a huge 2800 monster, so that alone is keeps them in. Plus sure. people people kind of react very specifically when you drop Goyo on them. Yeah, I mean, I took a JD. I think with a, I don't remember exactly. I did uh, Soroko and Squall 
Use Squall Effect to put JD in defense and then attacked over JD, took it, and then nuked the board. So. <laughs> took my Teus and I'm still lost. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'll yeah. play the one Black Rose. I kind of want to bump this up to two now that I play Steam so I can make him a little easier. It's just are he's you, fine at one. Are you going to, uh, are you going to run the other Black, the Moonflower, the other Black Rose when, when we get it? I don't know exactly what it it's does. It's a Compulse. Um, there's no room. Uh, and then I play the 7 still. There's a reason I play him. He's a part of the Steam-Leo combo that I'm going to show you at the end of the video. And I play Stardust. I haven't made this yet, but it's Stardust. One Crimson Blader, because it stops Shadals, it stops Hat, kind of. It's I mean, it stops Light Swords, and Light Swords are like a bad matchup for this, so. Really? Why? Because I play, I mean, Delta Crows. Uh, so. Once they drop JD, Den loses. Uh, play the one Beals. This card is nuts. I usually, this is mainly for just protection. I special him in defense and just sit for mm -hmm. days. And if they play Compulse, they play Compulse. If not, he usually stays on the board all game. And then I main one Leo. Because most decks lose to just Leo as himself. Um, Show us that Leo combo real quick. So all you need is Shura on the field and Leo in your deck. Leo? Or not Leo, but Steam in your deck. Let's say they have a monster. You have to destroy a monster by battle. It doesn't matter what monster. So Shura attacks. He destroys the monster. You search with Shura. You special Steam. If they have another monster, you just end your turn or you end your battle phase. And then if they not, just poke for 800. And then you sink for 7 to make Blade Armor Master. And then you use you get the effect the special a token. And then you use Steam's effect to special himself. You tribute the token because it can be used as a target to special himself back. Now the only monsters that can be used as a synchro material all have to be black wings, so you have to go into Armor Master. Now you can sync for ten and make Leo. And then you get another token. And then I've even had I've even had times where I had a Gale in a Shuron board, and this equals a Beals. Okay. <laughs> so, I mean, the token comes in handy, too. It's like the two best things in your fucking extra deck. Yeah, and they can be made. A lot of people, well, Beals is a very good locals card, because uh, most people just don't have conventional means of getting out of that. It's still a good card. Well. I mean, I don't, I don't I don't usually attack with Beals, because people are still maining B-Prison, so like I said, most of the time, they're just, right. they're just sitting Plus, there. Plus, once Castell comes out, they're gonna have, there's actually going to be a, uh, an extra deck out to Beals. Yeah. Even if he's in Mode. That's why I think Kistel's been really good. Like I said earlier, a lot of people are talking about running him over uh, 101, but I don't, don't, that's not. I would not advise dropping 101. If you run two 101s currently, you might want to switch one of them out for a Kistel. But other than that, there's no way that he replaces 101. And another thing with Leo, um, that's not the only way I can make it in case I draw Steam. I can Black Rose, and then if I have Gale, I usually I play the one Soul Charge, so there are a lot of times where I'll... I'll use Gale as a material to blow up the field with Black Rose. I'll sink as him the material, and then I'll I'll soul charge Black Rose and Gale back, and then sink for Leo. So nuke the board and then get Leo. Extra deck. Side deck. Side. Uh, I play the third Maxi because, uh, like I said, I like to go second. So against Mermails or. Why do you like to go second? This card needs the extra card. No, 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 but why do you like to go second over going first? It needs the extra card. Oh, oh, you just need that. All right. And going first isn't bad as long as you can try to open up your whirlwind because then you're even with your opponent. It's well, just... Wouldn't it be better to go first though, even if you open up like an Icarus attack and then just set, especially if your opponent doesn't know what you're playing Most yet. Most of the time the way I've been playing it is that if I open up Icarus, I won't summon my monster and attack to get bottomless or solemned or whatever. I'll always usually set it to blow up the back row. Right. Or even if I have a Delta Crow, I'll summon something under 1500 that's weak that no one would solemn warning, and then I'll Delta Crow them, and then next turn I'll let them hit me for 2000 or whatever they do, and then next turn I'll go off. And they usually lose by then, because Delta Crow plus me too. Right, right, right. Uh, side 2 DD Crow. Card's really good, I like it, for just the fact that you can banish stuff to get it out of the grave, so our artifacts and mermails. Um, he's Meister. also a winged beast, so you can Icarus him in situations where you have to do that. Play Skullmeister. Skullmeister. Side 2, Skill Drains. 
Um, it does hurt me a little bit. Obviously, it hurts every every monster, but barely. It hurts a lot people more, and I play hand traps. And plus, I have Boring. synchros, so I have things I can easily spam with skill drain still in the field, and I can just make beat sticks. I can put Goyos on the board, Leos. Like it's just they're just it's just really good against certain things. This wins. Uh, one soul drain, soul drain. Two rivalry uh, artifacts or hat. Uh, evil swarms, Constellers, Medolches. Two noblemen. This is mainly built for next format, so should alls. People still play Gear Gia, so we'll hands too. Dragons, hands. Mainly for should alls. I'm siding three MST. Why not? Why? So you know why side the MSTs and not main any of them? Well, I was gonna. I was maining one, but then I took it out for for the for, the, for, the, for a wire tap. Uh -huh. I was actually maining. I added more monsters, so I needed to cut some traps because I was at like 15 traps, which was kind of a lot. I actually want to side two MST, but I don't really know what else to side at this point. So I usually side two of these in most of the time. Inside Delta Crow's out if they don't play like a ton of back row because Delta Crow only kills face up or face down back row. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Thank you, Tommy. Yep. And then the two light mirrors because I just signed out Phoenix Chains if I play lights and then these use us Phoenix Chains are better. And that's my deck profile, guys. Thanks for watching. All right. Well, uh, thanks. And uh, leave any questions or comments you have below. Be sure to call Dan a scrub a lot. We really appreciate that. And, um, we are getting, what's the next profile? I think Mermail. Someone asked for a Mermail profile, so we're going to get that put up pretty, pretty soon. All right, thanks for watching.